Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So if you are still wondering and looking for the best method to convert the OST file to the PST file easily, then you must check this tool that I am going to share today. So without any further delay, let's quickly get it started. Alright, so we are going to use the Stellar Converter. You will be getting the link in the description. Come to this website and you can read about this tool. This tool is trusted by Microsoft MVPs and the IT admin and they consider this tool as one of the best tools to convert the OST to the PST. And if you want to read more about it, you can read it says convert large sized OST file to PST. So even no foundation. So if you have any file of any size, you can easily convert it. All right, so now simply click on free download and the file will be quickly downloaded. Once it get downloaded, click on the downloaded file and the setup will be up. Now click on OK, click on Next, accept the agreement, click on Next. If you want to change the location, then you can change it or else click on Next, click Next and click Next and install. All right, so the installation will be done and now you have to click on Finish. And then finally, you will be getting this kind of dashboard of the Stellar Converter. Now here you get two different options, List Profile and Choose Manually. So if you are not sure where exactly your file is, then you can click on List Profile. And if the file is available in the profile, it will be listed here below the profile name and profile path. In case if you don't find it, then you can click on Choose Mailbox Manually. And here either you can click on Find to find the file. Or you can also browse the location where you feel that you have the file to convert. So if I click on browse, then I know my location, it's in document. And here I have the OST file, I will select it and click on open. All right, and this way I can click on convert and it will be done. Now in case if you're not sure, you can click on find. Choose the drive where you feel that your OST file is being located and click on find again. And it may take some time to find out the file for you. And you can see on my end, it automatically detected the OST file that has been located in the document. All right, so once it's been done, now you can simply select it and click on convert to convert this OST file to PST. All right, so once you have selected the OST file, now you will have to click on convert. And it says, please wait while software analyze the selected file. So it may take a while. Just wait until it's all been done. And now it says converting file, converting item. So all the files in the OST profile is now being getting converted. So just wait until it's all been done. And bingo, it says selected file has been converted. Click save converted file button to save the converted PST file. All right, so now if I click on OK, so you can view here all the files are being listed on the left hand side. And if you want to view them, you can view them one by one, like your calendar, your notes, everything can be viewed over here. All right. So once you are satisfied, once you feel that everything has been converted properly from the left and top menu option, you will have to click on home and in the home, you have to click on save converted file and you will be getting this kind of page and it will ask you save as PST, MSG, EML, RTF, HTML and PDF. So whatever your recommendation is, whichever format you want to choose, you can choose from here only. As of now, uh, we are working on OST to PST. So I will keep this selected to PST. And then I will click on next. Then it's asking select the destination path. So where exactly you want to save this file once converted. So I can keep this selected to document only. So I will click on browse. Then I will choose documents and here I will create a folder so that I can quickly identify. I will click on make new folder and rename it to converted PST. Now I can select it and click on OK. And then below you find two different options: recover deleted item or to split PST file. Now I would recommend you to keep this option checked to assure that all kind of files are being converted and saved into your document. All right, and below you find another option of apply advanced filter. And if you click on it, you get many other options that say include junk email folder, include deleted item folder. If you want to convert to PST, depending on the date range, then you can select the start and the end date and so on. There are many other options that you can check. Once you are satisfied and once you are done, now you can click on OK. And now finally, the conversion will be started. 
all right and finally it's been done and it says file saved at c users document converted pst and converted file size is 318 mb so now what i can do i can click on okay we are all done from here and i can close the stellar like converter for ost now so this time if i bring up my file explorer go to document so you will find the new folder that we created converted pst and here we have the pst file and if i right click on it go to properties so you can view here that it's a outlook data file pst and if i go back so now you can see the old file here that was our ost file that we converted into pst all right so now we are done with the conversion now we have to go ahead and import this file to our outlook so bring up your outlook now one thing you have to keep in mind guys here that if you have the new outlook email application on your windows 10 or 11 you will not find the option of file or the option of import or export all right so what you will have to do from the left hand top menu option you will have to click on help and in the help you will find an option here by the name go to classic outlook so you will have to go to the outlook classic in order to import the file so click on it and you will be getting this kind of page here now it will be searching for the account and it will ask you to log in with your email address so now you have to type your email address and just go ahead and click on connect once you are done and once it will be done the next time when you search for outlook on your windows search you will find two different options outlook new and outlook classic so you will have to bring up the outlook classic here and bingo now this time the outlook classic is up and now here you can find the file option that is on the very left and top so click on file then click on open and export and here you have to click on open outlook data file again click on it now you will have to locate to the place where you have converted the file to pst so it was in document so i will go in document and then i have to look for converted pst so click on it choose the pst file from here click on ok and now it will start uploading so wait for some time and once it will be done on your left in menu option you will find here that particular file that is by the name stellar convert it for ost and everything you can view from here inbox send item deleted item lost and found outbox everything will be listed here so this is the reason guys why most of the people recommend you to use this tool in order to convert the ost file to pst easily without any kind of loss without losing anything so that everything can be converted without any problem and you should have the full access to your all files so that's all guys for today and hopefully you found the information useful if you want to try this tool the link will be in the description and if you have any kind of query any problem let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video Bye bye